This is Patrice Wendling speaking with Dr. Keith Forwith regarding the advanced trial of a steroid eluding stent for patients undergoing sinus surgery. Doctor, why did you conduct the trial? We do a lot of sinus surgery and the results of sinus surgery are often improved if you can avoid some very common post-operative complications. The middle turbinate in particular can lateralize and when that happens, uh, patients are uncomfortable uh, and it can compromise long-term results. So we're always looking for a better way to make sure that those sorts of things don't happen. What did you find in your trial? Well, what we found was that there were a number of patients uh, with very, very extensive disease, including polyps, um, that really, really did well with this stent. Uh, it seems that the role of the steroid that's embedded into the stent seems to have a large uh, impact on reducing the inflammation and the polyps uh, that can occur after surgery. So we were very pleased with the results of the stent. Did you see any ocular or systemic complications as a result of having this bioabsorbable stent? Yeah, we specifically checked uh, for the intraocular pressures to make sure that a steroid near the eye wasn't going to induce any ocular problems. And we found through examinations before and 30 days after that there was absolutely no uh, impact on intraocular pressures or hypertension. Uh, we didn't find any other systemic side effects uh, from it, and so it really performed very well. In your own personal use, what did you find, sir? Well, whenever you try a new device, you're hoping that it gives you good results, and where this really became apparent was when I stopped using the device because our trial was over, I really missed it. Um, we went back to doing the old way, and uh, I definitely saw a difference in the results uh, after I'd gotten used to the very good results I saw with the stent. So, I'm hoping to see this product come to the market soon uh, so I can just use it in my own personal practice. But it worked very well, I'm very pleased. When do you anticipate uh, possible market approval? It's under FDA review, so you never knew, know about the government and those sorts of things. Uh, hopefully we'll see it within a year or so, uh, but I'm not actually involved in that aspect of it. So don't know, but I hope it's soon.